We had uh, spent about half of our honeymoon in Hawaii doing uh, multiple dives in the ocean, um, surfing, different hikes, mountain bike biking, um, a bunch of volcanoes on the other island. And one day trip we decided to go snorkeling in a bay and then hike up uh, another crater um, just uh, real nearby to, that, uh, to the bay. And we went snorkeling, beautiful bay, great pictures, uh, great scenery. Um, then we hiked up to the top of the crater and we get to the top of the crater and I realized no ring. Oh my god. And panic, we went through all of our pictures, tried to narrow down where we lost it and we narrowed it down that we had lost it. We had it prior to going into the bay, didn't have it at the bottom of the crater. So it was somewhere in the bay. And um, after checking, found nothing, left the report and um, we went home. We went home and empty we, handed. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty much uh, resigned to the fact that we we're going to have to replace it. And um, once we had somebody, uh, we found that on Craigslist that had reported finding a ring. Uh, correspondence turns out that somebody had found our ring at the bottom of the ocean nine days after we lost it, and it was just sitting there, um, perfectly on uh, right top on top of the, of the sand. sand undisturbed um, after thousands of snorkelers, scuba divers, um, fish, turtles, marine life, current, tide, just sitting there. It was it was meant to be Definitely. found. Somebody wanted it to be found. Nobody had to dig for it. Nobody had to move rocks to find it. It was just sitting there waiting to be found and brought back to us.